Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll go ahead and show you how to integrate Excel and SharePoint using a product called Excel Web Services that's part of SharePoint 2010 Enterprise License and also part of the more expensive version of the Office 365 license. And here I'm going to actually be showing that. This is Office 365 and that has the Excel Web Services enabled. So I'm going to start by creating a model here in Excel and then I'm going to save that file into SharePoint 2010 and then I'm going to use the Excel um, web part to display the information. So I'm going to start by building a very simple model and I will create a heading here in the A column called month and then I'm going to just enter the month of January and then we can pull that down and then we have December there. Excellent. And I'm double clicking there to widen that column and then I'm just going to do a sales column here and let's hope we sell for $50,000. Let's put that into dollars in January and then we have, that's fine, $50,000 and we don't need to count the decimals. And then I'm going to have an increase here of um, 3%. I'm just going to enter that there, 3%. And then I'm going to name that uh, call uh, the cell here, F1. I'm going to name that increase. So I can use that in formulas later. And then I'm going to calculate how much February is going to be based on that increase, which we have in F1. So I'll do that. 1 times 1 plus the increase. B2 times uh, 1 plus increase, so that would be 1.03, and that would give us 51,500. Right, and then I'm going to just pick the uh, sales format there, or the number format, and fill that all the way down, and then the actual fill the formula all the way down. And that looks accurate, that looks good. So if we have a 0% increase, then we have 50,000 all along, and if we have a 5% increase, then no. the formula seems to work. Excellent. Now let's just build a, a table around this. I'm just going to format this as table. This is a beautiful new feature in Excel 2007-2010. Gives us a lot of features. There we go. And we have a nice formatting in it, on it also and some drop downs there uh, some, with filtering options. We don't need to use that right now, but um, it's a beneficial thing. So anyhow, uh, and you see this table now is named table 1. And now, next, I'm going to go and build a graph of this so I can see the actual uh, growth here. That would be a rather good one. And there you see, yep, that looks good. And if I now increase this, of course, the, the graph changes also. And if I do minus 10%, that works too. Yep, good. And zero, then we have a straight line. Excellent. Everything's working beautifully in Excel. So now get over to the actual um, SharePoint part of this story. And now what I'm going to do is just save this. And in SharePoint, flow, sorry, Excel 2010, of course, I would go into Save and Send. And there we have Save to SharePoint. There I need a, a URL. I'm going to go and browse for a location and save as. And now I need the URL for the uh, site here. So I'm going to go over to SharePoint, which, and here I have my shared documents. And actually, I'm going to copy the URL to that, and I'm not going to copy all of it, but just shared documents. There we go. And then I will go over here and paste that path. And when I do that and just press enter, it connects to the SharePoint site eventually. It takes a few seconds to validate, and then I should see the um, shared documents page then. Here we go. Now I'm in that site and I can save right in there. That's beautiful. And I'm going to save that as a sales report or something. So expected sales might be actually better. All right, expected sales. And I'm also going to go into the publish options here and just show off some of the features here that I can choose from. I can choose what, what I'm going to publish, entire workbook just individual sheets and since I don't have anything in sheet two and three I'm gonna leave those out. 
can also actually select items in the workbook. And uh, here I have the charts and the tables and the named ranges. So that's one of the things I did here was um, name a cell. And that's actually very useful when I go into this parameters thing here. So if I now add this increase here as a parameter, you're going to see that that's very useful. Let's see, now I think we're all set and the parameters are there. Good, fine. Okay, and then I'm just saving that. Now, eventually that will be saved in um, SharePoint. And now you see this is uploading to the server and eventually the server will open with that window in the browser. So there you go. Now I have the same uh, spreadsheet in Excel. I don't have the Office web apps installed here, just the Excel web services. So um, it's opening in the web browser as you see. And I can actually go ahead and change this uh, value now for the increase. That's the parameter I defined. So I'm going to define that to 5% now. Whoops, 5% of course, there we go. And that changed a bit. Yep, and let's do the minus two just to check that it's working. And it should lean the other way. I'm just printing, pressing enter here, but I can of course click on apply too. There we go. Now, uh, this is of course useful and you can uh, use this link and you can use this for the users who don't have Excel, etc. But what would you, what you probably rather want to do is have this graph or this table um, in um, on your front page in your demo page here. So and I'm going to go and just edit this page here and I'm going to remove, let's see, I'm going to do the one column layout so we have a lot of place here and I'm just going to remove the shared documents now, I don't need to see that. And the image here, although beautiful, will have to go. And all this stuff also. Gone, gone, gone. And then I'm just going to do away with that. Pro projected sales. All right. Now, next, I'm going to actually go in and insert a web part. And there is a specific web part for this. If you don't see the Excel web part in here in this list, then you don't have the appropriate version of Office 365 or the appropriate version of SharePoint 2010. So I'm going to search for Excel here. And there we go, Excel Web Access. I'm going to add that. And there we go, there I got a very nice uh, little thing there. But of course, as usual, I do need to go into the Web Part Tool Pane to actually do any work with it. So I'm going to open the Tool Pane and select the workbook. And that gives me a very nice little editor there, or selector actually. There we go, just a second. Um, try to get that within the picture. And there we go into Shared Documents. And the expected sales, beautiful, I'll pick that up. Regretfully, the named item thing is not as uh, beautiful. But anyhow, uh, let's just uh, apply this for now and see what, how that looks. And as you see, that's now displaying this spreadsheet exactly in my, in my first page here. That's good enough. But what I actually want to do is just pick the graph here. And now I don't actually remember what the um, graph name, but I would assume that it's actually chart one. Regretfully, this uh, selector here doesn't give me a graphical selector, so I actually do need to know what the name of the item is. I'm also going to say that I don't want the parameter modification thing here, because that takes up so much space. And there we go. I have the my chart at uh, chart one. I'm just actually going to save this now. You can do a lot more, but uh, let's just leave that as now, and you'll see the point of the demo. So now I can go into my calendar as usual, and and then back to home page, and I will always see the data from the spreadsheet. Thank you for watching this demonstration.